Hello, welcome to Snack Break. Uh, do forgive the hair and the, the stubble. It's just, I've been working outside a lot and it is very, very, very hot here, as it is with everywhere. Uh, oh boy, and do you know what, uh, you know what the remedy for that is? Consumerism. Why didn't any of you tell me Pepsi Blue was back? I saw this just sitting there in the store uh, as I was I'm making my way to the to the checkout and I was like <gasps> blue Pepsi this I used to drink this all the time back in high school um, this, for those who don't know Pepsi blue was kind of a thing around maybe it was definitely the 2000s was it around 2005 that it was around I don't know but I I I was intrigued by this and I, I remember enjoying the soda quite a bit uh, the most notable thing about Pepsi Blue at the time was that commercial. There were several commercials, but there was one specific one. It started out with like some sort of uh, like grungy pop band. I don't know what that what that genre of music was. It started off with like a really kind of almost mocking um, and it also had benedicting monks come in at the beginning it was it, it, god the 2000s were so grody um uh, but then it had like a really catchy hook first you say whoa then you say yeah um, I guess that's sort of also the first time in advertising where you just no one came up with their own jingles anymore either you used a song from like the 1980s or 50s or something you know like uh, Apple was had their like candy coated computer thing going on so I think they used like uh, Mr. Sandman or, or Candyman or something like that um, or you licensed a, a song I think Warner Brothers basically just went around signing up bands and then using their material for l the same way that I would use uh, music. You know, like you go on uh, Humble Bumble or Humble Bundle, or you go on Fanatical and you like download like a bunch of different like audio files like you know 50 guitar riffs and you know, like 50 drum sets or just pre-made stuff those are really useful for making videos um, but anyway I think that's pretty much I remember I pinpointed that in my mind as oh there's no such thing as jingles anymore like Pepsi Blue uh, uh, ride the hue um, no they just sort of you built your commercial around picking up some you know some guys song and again what Pepsi Blue uh, what made it unique was it says it's a berry flavored cola berry flavored not blueberry just berry so that intrigued me because I think like let's even like Fanta let's let's talk about Fanta the flavors that they had were pineapple cherry grape and orange which are pretty standard. I think like orange and grape sodas are, are pretty much like the bare bones, like you can find them anywhere. Yeah, you don't get a lot of blueberry sodas. Like even Fanta who has like a, the cornerstone on fruity drinks, uh, hasn't really introduced like anything blue. This is berry, so it could be like mixed berry or whatever. Ooh, the label itself, as you can see, this one's sort of reminiscent of like an American flag no doubt meant to capitalize on sort of um, you know in, in fourth of july uh, veterans day stuff like that uh the original label of pepsi blue was like something you'd find hanging up in an airbrush t-shirt store in the mall i guess it's about time to actually try the soda pepsi blue I haven't had this in a while Okay. Yep, definitely. Oh, wow. Yep. Oh, man, I'm teleported back to the parking lot of a Walgreens on, like, a, a Saturday night when we go and, 
It, we, we were done with bowling and we visit the 24 hour uh, Walgreens to get some snacks and we're debating whether or not to go across the street to the Denny's. Um, yeah, okay. God, that's, okay, here we go. Yeah, no, no, that tastes way more of Pepsi than I, I remember. It starts off with like a really strong kind of like fruity flavor and then tapers off with like a Pepsi. Don't remember the original one tasting like that. Maybe this is like really a, one of those situations where I remember it better than it was. Or maybe just my, my old man taste buds are, are giving out on me, but um, either that or they most likely did like, you know, they've changed the formula or the process. That's, that, that's more, both uh, occurrences are equally likely. Yeah, this ain't bad. This is just kind of like if they, uh, if they put, you know, it tastes kind of like a cherry Coke where they just add cherry to the Coke. I remember it just being a lot more fruitier than this. But yeah, the Pepsi flavor is definitely more pronounced now. Huh. I mean, it's not disappointing. It was a little disappointing, but I think that was just coming from a place of nostalgia. Oh well. Mm. But this isn't nostalgic. This is Pepsi Mango. Uh, they just put mango in a Pepsi. Uh, I don't know why all of a sudden they just decided to add mango. Uh, if it weren't for like very minimal label, you know me, I like looking at the labels. And uh, it's very minimal. The only thing you have are the, the bands of sort of that, that distinctive mango orange, a little icon of mango in the corner. And then of course, Pepsi is, uh, Pipsi is uh, prominent. And then again, mango, very small, almost like they're trying to trick you. It's like, oh, hey, oh, you didn't know it was mango? Oh man. Oh God, mango. Someone or something was named Mango and they were really annoying. Was that like an Ellen bit or something? Yeah, it just says Pepsi with a splash of mango, uh, mango juice and other natural flavors. Yeah, right. Nothing, nothing went into this. Anyway, here we go. Here we go. Mango. Uh, boo. Okay, that smells like ne uh, mango nectar juice. Mmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, very, very pungent. When it says a splash, it must have meant like the same way hipsters use patchouli oil. Mmm. Yeah. First of all, this tastes less like a Pepsi than the Pepsi Blue. Um, so, yeah, again, it almost tastes like nothing at first. It tastes like just sugar water, like some sort of generic soda. It doesn't even taste like Pepsi. And then it's this huge sort of cudgel of mango uh, in the back end. Even after I'm, I'm done drinking it and I can still, like, the mango is still bubbling up uh, in the back of my tongue. That, that's that's a that's one of the barometrics of uh, this show is like I, I more than often than not it's like eh I wouldn't order this but at the same time I wouldn't send it back um yeah 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 uh, a little bit of Pepsi Blue again pepsi blue they could have totally made it um sort of you know this cola color but they decided to go with blue which again i guess that's more of a an aesthetic thing why is cola brown hmm anyway here's uh here's mud in your eye combining both of them at the same time Yeah, that's just a nothing. That's that's a. It, I taste the blueberry at the end, but at the beginning, it just kind of. I don't know, like like seltzer water. How can there be no mango in there when there was so much mango uh, taste prevalent in in just the mango? 
Have I said mango enough? Good lord. Um, yeah, these are fine. Uh, this was a little bit of a nostalgic disappointment. Uh, what was I just going through my shitty teenage age? Look at this fucking edgy bottle. You can't control me. Oh, I had the mic off the whole time. I wonder if that's... Oh, Lord. Damn punk kids. And then, uh, this is fine, too. Um, again, wouldn't, wouldn't order it. Uh, you know how all these flavors came about? Is like, at, at the photo, soda fountains. You know, even, even back in, like, the 50s. You know, you'd have a cola... And then you'd have, you know, the the mixins, you know, all the all the the syrups that they'd have at the the soda fountains. And soda jerk would just be like, hey, what do you want? Uh, a coke. And then, you know, for whatever reason, you know, it's 1950s. I'm bored. I'm tired of thinking about finding communism all day. Throw some cherry cherry syrup into that coke. And it's like holy crap Greg you're a wild man and then he pours it in it's like oh it's cherry coke now and then some like executive was like in the 80, 1980s they were like wait a minute people are putting like shit in cokes uh, we can't have none of that we gotta put it in ourselves um, I guess I'm what I'm saying is I'm still very bitter about Coca-Cola taking my idea about coke and coffee mm -hmm.